welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my little brother Stefan. And today we are gonna be testing out healthy snacks and candies. Like a healthier alternative to like chips and stuff. I just find them like so tasty and I don't feel like gross after I eat them. I went to some like nature food stores and I found a bunch of like interesting things I've never seen before and we're gonna try them. I'm not technically saying they're healthy, but I don't know anything that they're healthier buy. than chips and stuff. Well, that's cool. Everything I bought is under four dollars. I think the whole purchase was like thirty bucks or something. First thing we have okay. Stefan wanted to try first. Yeah. And it is these Neil Brother Foods organic cheese pops. Boy. And we are obsessed with the Chester puffs. I don't even know what they are. I know they have them only in the States and we're from Canada by the way. States, every time we go to the States we buy them for like two bucks and they're like so bad for you but they're so good. They're wheat free and gluten free, trans fat free. Yeah, everything's organic. Let's try these. I'm really hoping they're good because I need something to eat tonight while walking through the water. I think Video these were the best, 3 then. They look really cheesy. So, so yeah. They're like white puffs. Okay, let's see. They're like popcorn. They I smell think. really fake. Like, they smell like plastic. Popcorn cheese. Oh. Mm, yeah. They're good. They're you know what they taste like? You know those like yellow sticks? I'll insert a picture of them. I'm pretty sure they're from Chester's. It tastes exactly like that. They're like soft but crunchy at the same time. They I'm don't really have a cheesy flavor. I'm like, pretty sure I've tried something like this before. Yeah, it's those yellow sticks. Ah. These I'm so excited about. So I'm obsessed with ginger molasses cookies. So I found soft bake ginger bread spice cookies and they had this brand had so many cookies i was trying to decide which ones i wanted but then i saw these i was also gonna buy the cinnamon ones but they're not soft bake they're crunchy and i kind of wanted a soft bake they're free of wheat gluten milk peanuts tree nuts mustard sulfates eggs sesame soy fish shellfish why would there be shellfish and cookies how many cookies so much one two three one two three four what's four times three twelve yeah. these, the bottoms of them are really sugary and the tops are really sugary oh i'm so excited i really hope these taste good Ooh, nice and soft there's like chunks of some like gingerbread. It's it like a gingerbread. Wait, there's something chunky in mine. That, that weird, that that weird thing is good. It's chewy. Maybe it's spiced ginger or something. These are really good. I just say the sugar. It tastes like a really soft gingerbread cookie. It tastes super fresh. Sugar doesn't taste like anything. It was really gingery. So far, everything I rate ten out of ten. Yeah. They're These ones are good. nine because it's a weird spice thing, you don't know? It's that one's ten. Yeah, they're really spicy. I'm okay, obsessed with spice. chickpeas. I roasted chickpeas. And this brand I've tried before at Costco, the sea salt one. And the sea salt one's really salty, so I stay away from those. And the good bean chickpeas. And I saw that they have a cinnamon flavor. The cinnamon with a hint of vanilla. And they're vegan, nut-free, and gluten-free. They don't really smell like cinnamon. I'm not gonna like it. They look like um, a cereal. Oh, you found me about that. I don't love them, but I don't hate them. It's like a chocolate covered nut, but with no chocolate on it. I do not taste cinnamon whatsoever. If anything, it just tastes like they're sugary. Like, they just taste like really sweet chickpea. I mean, nine. Nine. Yeah, I would give them like a nine. This is like the cutest little granola bar ever. So it's a goji berry granola bar. What berry? And it's a four ingredient organic energy bar. It's called rhubarb. So it's gluten free, vegan, raw, non GMO. There's like other things, but I don't understand it. Ouvre a seed. Yeah, it's in a, it's in French. But it's just part of the do not like raw granola bars. There's just something about them that I just do not like. I like the ingredients are dates, goji berry. Dried coconut, cacao powder. It doesn't look like it's gonna be good. Oh, I hate when they look like this. Oh, I should get the this bowl. This is again. what I hate when it looks like. It basically looks like a date. Mm. Never mind, I need the bowl. It smells like dates. See, I, I like, like dates, dates, but I also hate dates. How can you get the gold berry? Yeah, there's gold berry there too. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Cheers. Uh. It's good. I don't like it. It's raw. Oh, no, they're raw. They're raw. Oh, you hit something and it's really gross. I hit like a weird like it's thing. The coconut. It tastes that weird thing, the that coconut. thing. Like that little chunk. Yeah, thing. the coconut's not good. Oh, I don't like that. I have to remember, I do not like raw granola bars. So I have to stop buying them. It, like, If you like raw, you would like it. I found these candy kittens and they're gummies shaped as cats. Real fruit juice, gluten free, oh, and the flavor is oh, sour blueberry. And these are only two ninety nine. Oh, right. These are Chelsea London. I think that's come. I wanted these ones because they had sugar on them. They had another flavor, sh but the flavors without sh sugar have beeswax in them. And I'm not a fan of candies with beeswax. Ew. So I know. Wow, this smells like an actual blueberry. They smell. 
the little cats, and they're so cute. I hope they taste good. Why do I need a whole bag? Mmm, they're sour. Oh, it's good. I love sour things. Mmm, you think good. Oh, they're so sour though. We should do a sour challenge. We, we should do, do that. Really good. We should do a sour challenge. I love sour things. And the ingredients? What? That's gross. What? Yeah, there's, a, there's sugar, there's glucose, cornstarch, okay, and then beef gelatin. That's what flavor Fruit gelatin. And vegetable concentrates, hibiscus, carrot, and spirulina, <coughs> and the natural flavors. <coughs> I don't get why they put beef gelatin in there. These are Energif quinoa crackers, rock salt, oh, and want. they're gluten free, low sodium, and three grams of protein. So they're called crackers with benefits, and the little pack is so cute. It's it. only like a dollar ninety nine. I thought they'd be really good with hummus. The ingredients are like organic quinoa flakes, millet flour, sunflower seeds, buckwheat flour, sunflower but, oil, but, honey, but brown flax flour. seed, fancy molasses, not just any regular molasses. But cheap flour. Fancy. And then coarse cheap. salt. So these are pretty good. That looks like a, what's it called? It's super crunchy. It's a piece of salt. I can't bite it. Which is really just tastes like sunflower seeds as a cracker. The sunflower seeds are a really strong flavor in these. This would be so good with hummus. Next, we have one more berry thing. I want to wrap the ingredients. And they're fruit juice, fat free, gluos, syrup, sugar, fruit juice, contains raspberry, black, currant. For 17 pieces, it's 164 calories, zero fat, zero saturated fat, zero cholesterol, five milligrams of sodium. And 38 carbohydrates and 23 grams of sugar. It's a lot That's of 50 zeros. grams for 17 pieces. There's a lot of zeros there. So these seem pretty good. And better than like of a candy if you really want to eat candy. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's sour. Tastes like jam and candy. I already know what these taste like, but I wanted to show you guys these chickpeas. This is the best brand of chickpeas because they're not super salty like the other brand. And these are from Free Farmers and they're just like chickpeas. Like that's what it's called. And the flavors are really good. This is balsamic and cracked pepper. This is my favorite flavor. It's very like, it's not like spicy, but like the pepper really is strong. And it, but it's really, really good. And then this is the barbecue flavor. And the barbecue flavor is so good. This is like my second favorite. They also have a maple flavor, but I don't really like maple, so I never tried it. And then they have a sea salt and lime flavor, which sounds super good. But they're horrible. It tastes like Sprite. As in a chickpea. They taste like you just poured Sprite on a chickpea and baked it in the oven. They're not very good. There's really artificial lime. I like that real lime flavor. Then I found these. It I'm, was corn! I don't even know if these are healthy, Blech. but I found these in like a little, in like an international aisle to, in a like a supermarket and I corn nuts, I think. Ew, yeah. I don't like corn. So these are Blech. boy bagel wing cornic barbecue Ooh. flavor oh corn nuts. God. And it's fried corn, vegetable oil, sugar, salt, yeast. And spices, so they're pretty like they're not like super processed. Sugar bears, sugar, sugar really weird. Sugar, sugar bears, it looks like a butt. It looks like a butt. Whoa, you know what these taste like? Party mix, and then they oh, yeah. have those brown wheat crackers. That's what it tastes that like. That's good. It tastes like a pretzel almost. These do not taste like corn nuts. These they're are really like, sour. No, they're not. I mean, I'm salty. Everything was such a success, except that granola bar, but once again, if you like raw granola bars, you would really like it. But that is the end of this video. Oh, if you guys want a part two to this and try more snacks, let me know and I'll definitely do that. Comment if you want us to do a sour challenge. Yeah. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Bye.